this is my master closet and today's video we're going to be working in my side this is my husband's side and he has been working on his side uh, hanging up his clothes but for today I'm going to be working on my side because my side needs a lot of love because I haven't hung up my clothes and I need to hang up all my clothes that are in that bags and uh, reorganizing my makeup that is over here uh, my uh, swimsuits are in this bag um, this is my master bathroom as you can see I have this this boxes with tons of stuff makeup uh, cleaning product self-care products and all the things that we are going to be uh, reorganizing in this um in this cabinet uh that as my master bathroom bedroom sorry but it's a little bit crazy over there so we are going to be starting by here and let's get started all right and let's get started to get this house together finally getting this house together after a huge move into our new house and we are working upstairs today starting off by taking all the clothes out of the plastic bags and then hanging all we need to and doing a huge organization here in this master closet I wanted to start off by organizing my clothes by color maybe it's not going to be the perfect palette nuance but will work for me when I'm looking for a specific color shirt or clothes and also will make this side look neater Guys, I'm also curious about who else packed its clothes in plastic bags for a move-in. In my case, it was more practical than boxes since I have to optimize my time to be packing and then I think are more they are more flexible to load and fit into the moving truck. But probably in a future move-in, if we decide to move to another house, I'll be trying to pack our clothes more fancy in boxes I just wanted to take a time to say Happy New Year to every one of you and a big thank you for supporting my channel to all my subscribers and viewers even when I left YouTube for one year I came back this year and all my subscribers are still here and even growing I started by scratch and I can't believe uh, more than 800 people are now in this family and I can't wait to hit my first 1k subscribers and I do really appreciate having you all here that's one of my first goals for this new year and I hope you guys achieve all your goals and best wishes for this new year 2023 I will be using those cubes organizers to be organizing all the clothes that will be folded on the built-in shelves. I'm also adding a cube organizer to add other cubes and stuff. Meanwhile, I'm adding the new dressers I'm planning for my side. Just 
Just thought I'd call and wish you goodnight I left my key under the mat I don't get anything done, you're stuck on my mind I keep on missing your touch, missing your vibe This feeling might go when I say what we had Now moving on the top shelf to wipe it down, this shelf is what I'm going to be using to place all my handbags and purses and an unopened shoe boxes I haven't worn yet. this will be my closet uh, still remaining some clothes over there but I will be working on that later because that was the most important for me right now hanging up all of the shirts I usually use um, the jackets at the bottom and my um, some of my pants and other heavy clothes will be hanging up over here and um, Meanwhile, I'm waiting for my dressers. I'm going to be putting my shirts over here, uh, pants and other uh, home clothing uh, over here and uh, my underwear over here. So uh, this is how my walk-in closet will be working uh, meanwhile. And that's it. Now I'm going to be... Next, let's move on to the master bathroom to the second part of this video and I think this is going to be the hardest one because this is going to be a massive organization because all the stuff belonging to the master bathroom are still in that boxes and I'll need to impro improvise a bit to bring all this together and knit. These spaces are completely different to my previous house, they're way more space to storage but I used to have my vanity separately to the bathroom and now all my makeup and vanity stuff are going to be at the same master bathroom so that you will see me trying different ways to storage and fit all my vanity items and the bathroom essential items so before starting to place all the things i'm dusting and wiping down inside the cabinets and drawers so we can start with a fresh and clean spaces conversation flows a couple of hours see how it goes i really trust my senses catch me if i fall so done with second guess and you seem to have it all in loving I'm starting by organizing the top drawer in the at the middle of the vanity. To do this, I bought those acrylic vanity organizers I found on Walmart and are suitable for this space to storage small personal tools. So in this drawer, I'll keep our toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, my super floss to use with my braces because if you notice, I'm using braces and every day is a holy routine for me to brush and clean my teeth. Also the inner dental soft brushes to use with my braces every day as well. I'm also keeping in here some hair items like my hair ties, hair clips and pins and also other other tools like the scissors and nail clips which it all be in a separate clear containers I use this hair items and other uh, tools very often or every day so I like to having them on hand to grab them quickly for every day when I'm getting ready 
For Maurice's side, my husband's side, I will be keeping his daily uh, personal items like his um, hair jelly, his razor, and the back where he usually keeps all the things he uses every day to get ready. The second drawer is for more daily personal items as you can see I'm dividing what products are at my husband's side and the other half the products for me to make it more functional for each other. For my husband's side of the drawer I keep all the trouble size items. I haven't talked too much about my husband's job but he used to travel very often so he frequently brings trouble size uh, personal items from the hotels like small shampoo and body wash bottles and that's so Maurice and some other he usually buys for his troubles but we usually reuse them at home but Maurice likes to use them the most so therefore I'll keep them by his drawer side so he can easily reach them every time he needs to I'm also keeping in here my hair products like hydrating oils, heat protectant, leave-in conditioners and other products like deodorants, face oils and the hair brushes. Let's stay, let's stick to the basics. 
For my under the sink vanity side, I like to take all the period stuff out of the boxes and all going into one organizer so I can quickly grab them when I need to. I'm also will be keeping in there the basket where I keep my hair dryers and other hot tools and other hair products like fix it sprays and my handbags and other accessories I usually use to style my hair. And now let's move on to Maurice under the sink side and Maurice doesn't have as much stuff as I do I already did organize his most frequently used daily products on the drawer so I'm keeping in here his electric razors and electric shaver kits and machines and then other products for the bathroom Next, let's move on to reorganize and relocate my makeup where I'm keeping it on the vanity countertop for now until I find a better system to reorganize and keep all my makeup. I honestly don't like the idea to keep this countertop cluttered with all my makeup there, but meanwhile it works like this. Dancing all these 
The third drawer is for what I call the extras. I will be keeping in there all my extra makeup, all my splashes and extra body lotions. I will be keeping in there also my eyelashes, my nails boxes, my glues, all the glues for the nails and eyelashes and all the stuff that I just use eventually but I just keep, keep them just in case. I'm also keeping my glass bottle full with extra makeup blender sponges and also my hair straightener.
extra face towels to my side just because I like to quickly find fresh and clean towels every night to dry my face after a facial skincare wash routine but I will be looking forward to find a cute rustic basket to keep in them neater. Finally, just a quick close-up so you can appreciate the final result in this huge organization. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like it if you do. And see you in the next video. Bye guys.